Hi Aries, this is Just with your September 2016 reading. I hope that you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Aries, I will say this, there's going to be definitely a lot of changes that will be coming up for you in September, but really good changes. Now, um, I do see for some of my Aries, okay, some of you are on the side of either having just um, lost a job or... Um, your if you have your own business there being a slowdown of clientele business coming in if you just started a business uh you you're still waiting around to see the um rewards of the efforts that you've put forth and the plans that you've made when are you going to see a profit when are you going to you know make um some type of revenue coming in that sort of thing for others of you though um work is just fine uh work is things have been coming in and uh, but work is fine. Everything is kind of like as usual. And then there's others of you that really have been kind of making uh, traction. Okay, so you've been seeing things coming in and you've been seeing the blessings and the, the gains and you have been having clients that has come in and work is doing just fine. Um, now, for those of my Aries that has lost an opportunity, I'll start with you guys first. Lost an opportunity, you've had to leave a job, um, your client base has dwindled, your your own personal business, um, it has dwindled. You've not necessarily seen the same amount of clientele as usual. Um, some of you could have been contemplating wanting to just shut down, like shut down your company shut down your business and try to start something completely new okay um i do see that there's been a lot of contemplating in the past i feel like the past three months some of you have really truly been contemplating trying to decide exactly if this is what you have like if you're working on this job is this really what i want do i do really want to continue to do this type of work or do i really want to just continue staying here some of you have been trying to decide if this business because I feel like for some of you if you're if you have your own business you don't just have one you have a few businesses that you have your hand in okay one one could be very new um and you're giving a lot of attention to it or one is like your tried and true that's where the money comes from and so you do put your most of your efforts in that um and then you have a few others that um you don't put as much in, attention and effort in but they definitely are are there okay um I feel like there's been a lot of trying to decide if you need to kind of let go of one or kind of let go of them and start all over again. Now, I must say that some of you, because this is a downtime, okay, um, for those of you, again, who've been trying to look for work, who um, businesses have kind of like have been um, a little slower. Uh, and for those of you um, who's trying to decide if you are going to actually see profit from the new business that you've started. Um, I feel like some of you have been saying, okay, now that I have this downtime, I'm going to try to scale back a little bit and I'm going to try to focus on me. Some of you could possibly be trying to go to the gym or do change up your diet. I feel like get more self-aware now that you've been so reflective because a lot of my areas have been reflecting on life and you've been asking yourself like you know i'm just not satisfied yes i'm doing what i normally do but i'm just not satisfied i need to change it up and shake it up and that has a lot to do with uranus that's transiting you guys um so I feel like a lot of you are trying to change your way of doing things that you know is going to be beneficial to you. So you may be waking up earlier, um, taking on more of a holistic type of a lifestyle, trying to cut out things that you know either didn't serve you on a physical level or mentally or emotionally, really trying to change up the way that you do things. Okay, like seriously doing that. Um, because I feel like you guys feel like um, just intuitively, you know that this is the right time to do these things, okay? You see the opportunity, you guys have been thinking about it for a while, so now you're acting in that in that direction and in that manner. Um, I do see that for some of you that has been thinking about your past and what you could have done differently, that sort of thing, again, we're still working, we're still focused on career. Um, there's going to be, or there has been, you feeling a little bit disappointed about either some losses that you've recently took some ways that you could have done things differently and could have avoided some losses um you probably thinking about for those of you that's lost this 
job um what you could have done differently to kind of retain your job okay so i do see whatever ended in the past or whatever um you have had to suffer a setback, if you will. Uh, I do see that some of you have been taking some time to really reflect and through that reflection, um, I do see that you have admittedly realized some some sort of um, disappointment in that and regret, okay, which is normal. That's normal. Um, but I do feel like there is going to be or there has been for some of my Aries like uh, literally like a light has come on for you guys through all of this kind of like processing and ruminating and thinking and trying to get some understanding and being patient with yourself I feel like a lot of you guys aren't just out balls to the wall like no I'm not going to deal with this I'm just going to get out there and get something else going I feel like whatever this thing was it was significant enough to kind of make you guys pump your brakes okay and just take a step back and really evaluate I feel like that's what's going on for my Aries in the month of September okay so don't put any pressure on yourself thinking I need to do something by now it's been two weeks no allow yourself to go through this process because it's going to help you you know in the outcome of it all you know down the line so on the other side rather now i feel like there's going to be some type of realization something that happens literally if now if you don't get this a eureka moment then it's going to be something that actually happens that you will not see coming okay that is going to happen out of the blue or has happened out of the blue and i feel like just when you felt like you know what i'm just like you know i'm kind of happy that i have this downtime because i'm feeling really good like i'm really putting a lot of time and attention into myself or you know i'm not going to rush anything because i'm just going to kind of take some time it's almost as if either someone is going to wake you up something is going to happen or you're going to get into this whole different mindset and there's going to be like okay um there's going to be so for those of you that has been trying to look looking 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 for a job and to no avail and then you say oh you know i'm not gonna you know stress myself about it i'm gonna keep you know throw my resume out there but i'm not gonna stress out about the situation okay i'll just accept it for what it is bam that's when people are going to want to start meeting with you people are going to want to start to um like your interviewing process is going to kick up okay and i feel like for a lot of my Aries, this is going to happen mid-month. Uh, for some of you, it will be happening mid-month. Those of you, that's kind of ahead of the curve, if you will. Others of you, it's going to happen in the month of September. You have to understand that Jupiter is going into Libra, I believe, September 9th. Um, so you guys will be feeling this like rush of like a lot of things changing. I mean, leaps and bounds by mid-September and definitely once we get into October like things are gonna sh literally change like it's, it'll seem to some of you overnight okay um and it's gonna call for you to kind of be at the ready which you guys are already always at the ready and I don't see anything that's gonna make you feel like oh I'm not even ready for this like when it's time to get is when it's time to act you guys are gonna be able to act for so for those of you that's like man I haven't been able to find anything get ready because it's coming for those of you that's like you know my clients base has just been lagging i don't know get ready because it's about to happen for those of you who are like you know i'm okay i'm good with my clients i'm good at work get ready because things are getting ready to get even busier at work and on your on the business front for you so there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to collab with people okay uh i think for the next year this will be the year of collaborations for everyone <laughs> with jupiter being in libra it's going to be a lot of partnerships coming up um and i feel like when this thing happens either again you getting a eureka moment or some like a, a call comes in we want to see you hi i would like dot 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 whatever product and service you provide or you know we just got this big client and now i need all hands on deck that type of thing um you guys are going to be ready and whatever it is that you've been kind of secretly calling into you trying to manifest you're going to get okay you're gonna get but you needed this time to kind of self-reflect because again remember i've been telling you guys a lot about the ego the ego part of you i feel like some of you have by force not all of you by choice but a lot of you by force there's been this situation of like okay i have to get my ego in check you know or people have been checking your ego so you you've kind of been forced to kind of have to 
um, put it in check, at least for now, right? <laughs> uh, so I do see that once things start to kick back up for you guys, you'll be back in full swing and quite happy, I might add. I feel that, that um, going into the ended latter part of September, you're going to be back to your old self. You're going to take everything that you know, everything that you have, you know, to get the things that you want. I feel like if some of you um, have been, again, ruminating on that disappointment or just really not feeling like, you know, in the past you did everything that you needed to do to avoid certain pitfalls and that type of thing. Um, by the end of the month, you're going to do everything that you can do, I feel, to avoid um, any more disappointments from the past, okay? Uh, now, again, you sing now for some of you that's already on the job but you've been looking and you might have been idly looking not 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 seriously pursuing something um there could be something that comes out of the blue that's like hey we want you or hey we want to meet you and then you meet with them and then it quickly gets to the point of hiring you okay and you know that this is going to be an opportunity for you that you can utilize your skill set and you can improve um, your skills and provide more value to yourself and to another company or to the company that you're working for. Um, I feel like it's kind of going to be bittersweet because you're, you will be, you know, um, leaving, uh, one job behind for a new one, but it's something that you really are ready to do. Okay. So although yes, you're separating yourself from this company or from this, this job, it's like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go because that's how when this thing starts to happen for you, there's not going to be any more trying to decide. I'm so glad I don't see the two of swords anymore because, I mean, for months, there was always this two of swords. You guys having to decide, decide, decide. Now it's like, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. OK, um, now, he, now what you have to understand is keep doing what you're doing, meaning this pace and like for those Aries that this was a lesson for you, okay, whatever you were doing in the past, it didn't work out and you kind of had to get your ego checked and now you're like, okay, I'm going to step back and I'm going to do it the right way this time. Continue it doing that because in that way, you're going to really grow and you're going to learn and you're going to get where you really want to be in the right way by taking, you know, one step at a time, okay? This new thing that you're embarking on is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take persistence and consistency, okay? What you have, you guys have all of that, but you, I feel more than all of it, you need to work on the 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 temperate part, the temperance part, the, the patience, okay? Tempering your emotions, tempering your tolerance, that type of thing, okay? I think that's something that you guys kind of need to work on. And I feel like that's something that, um, this is the reason why you've been going through these things to help you strengthen that, or at least realize that that's something that you need to work on. Because the reality is, is that you will be leaving. Some of you guys are going to be leaving. For those of you that are looking for other businesses, um, I'm sorry, for those of you that's looking for new work, you're going to be leaving that job and moving into something new. For those of you that um, are looking to um, get a new, start a new business or focus on something else as it relates to your own business, you, you will be leaving something behind about one element of business that you do in pursuit of something else that either now is really stirring you or you do see more of a value and benefit from that particular um I, I feel um, direction of business or um, avenue of business because again I, I feel that a lot of my areas that have their own business you have your hand in a few things it's not just this one thing uh, but I feel like there's a lot of streamlining of a of business that that's what be going on in the month of September okay so um, again I I do see in the beginning parts of this month there is you know this sense of um, confusion let all of that happen you know don't click back into your areas i gotta do something i can't allow these feelings to crop up i can't allow all of this time i have to take the process this stuff no allow it to happen okay really allow all of these things to happen and when you start to have all these feelings don't try to force yourself to, to figure it out because i'm here to tell you that everything is going to come to you when it needs to come to you right on time and when it does there will be no more trying to figure anything out. You're going to be very clear. I mean, think, I mean I'm mean, i telling you guys, by the end of this month, go, by, by the time you get into October, you're going to be like, wow, things have changed so much for me. It's not even funny. 
And I'm not even, and it's not going to be like Aries been walking around all this time trying to like, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't. They're, you're going to know. You're going to know now. Okay. You're going to know. And for those of you, again, who are looking for work, who are looking to go into another job, that sort of thing, or you wanted to get promoted to a new opportunity, that sort of thing, know that it's going to come just when you're not really sure about anything. Okay. That's when all of this stuff is going to hit you. I'm telling you, it's going to come, bam, out of the blue. And they're going to they're, they're gonna commit to you, okay? So this isn't something where you have to wonder twice, maybe three times. Now, here's the, the thing. For some of you, it's going to call for you to, like, you may say, hey, I want to be a millionaire with this, okay? And there's a potential for that. But only if, again, if you make sure that you're steady and, bad, steady and consistent and a persistent okay uh, because again there is definitely financial gains here but it is something that will call for you to see it in a different way for you to see your money in a different way for you to value it so maybe there will be when you're getting monies coming in this time around get a budget save you know be more practical with it you know um have more of a plan with the monies that you have coming in there's some type of lesson that you guys was really supposed to learn in these past three months that i feel in the month of september and i feel like it's only going to be for the next three uh two i'm sorry two to three weeks in september you're going to have left to really get this lesson before things you know it's almost like you know when a machine it slows down and then it slows all the way down like a hybrid car, like when it approaches the red light and it just shuts down to preserve um, the electricity in the car. And it's like, OK, before you know it, everything, all systems is coming back up. And once that that car starts running, it's going. OK, so again, you don't want to go through this whole situation again. You know, now that you have gone through this full process of learning something or evolving. Ev evolving in a way that you should have so i'm off of the soapbox with the um speech okay um <laughs> so um now as far as love is concerned i was gonna lead with love because when i first was seeing these cards that was the only thing that was screaming to me okay um but i do know that a lot of people have life and work and you know more important things than love all the time okay uh so as we as it relates to love now i do see and you guys know what it is there's this threesome situation come on now you guys know there's this threesome situation but here's the thing okay somebody turned their back on you okay um or you turned your back on someone that's for some of my aries that has done that but somebody out of one of obviously out of whoever turned their back which one of you guys somebody is having a hard time letting go okay so it could be the person that turned their back on you but even that but they're still having a hard time letting go you'll know because you know are you the one that's having a hard time accepting the fact that you're no longer with this person or it is it you do you feel that way okay so, so if you do then it's you if you can honestly say no i don't feel like that then it's the other person okay but someone is struggling with this threesome situation coming to an end. Okay. Even though they know that it had to, at some point it was going to happen. They're having a hard time accepting it and letting it go. And it something damn sure ended. Oh yeah, it ended. I want to say in the past 10 days or so, somebody put the kibosh on a situation between you and them, or you put the kibosh on a situation. Okay. Twist it, twist it around and change it as you need to. But somebody ended the situation okay and i feel like right now you guys are doing your best because i feel like you guys already know i can't keep doing what i'm doing because if you do you're only gonna keep getting what you've been getting so i feel like and then now this is to my aries men now okay you guys are still thinking about this situation like you guys are like yeah i cannot believe this is over even though, especially if you were the person with two other women and one of them said, no, I'm out of here. Some of you are like, I can't believe it's over. Like, I can't believe this. OK, that's all you can seem to think about. I can't believe this. You know, I lost my family or 
you know we had a good thing going for so long you know what i mean a long-term relationship something that you know you or this again this could be someone that you felt like you you was you could have children raise up a ch children you know generational love somebody that you felt like you know one day i'm gonna marry you you know one day we're gonna live together that type of thing it doesn't all for all of you it's not somebody that you've been with forever for some of you it will be but for some of you it's just somebody that you really have that feeling like you were anticipating a forever type of love with them okay um and so there is a lot of ruminating but i feel like mentally a lot of you guys as you're communicating with people external to you i feel like things that people are saying are help healing you you're not some of you are not necessarily sharing that with them but the things maybe you guys could be having discussions about love about life about trying to find the meaning to things i feel like some of you are now trying to find the meaning to like what does this all mean you know to help somebody help me figure this out you know what i mean um and i feel like a lot of that is going on when some of you guys are going out okay now i could already hear somebody saying well what about the aries ladies what about the ladies ladies he's not he's thinking he's thinking about you now for some of my alpha ladies you're thinking about you're in that space of like damn i can't believe this is over but others of my other aries ladies he's thinking about it so again if you're not the person sitting around in the, in a state of shock that this is over then it's not you it's him okay i feel like going back to you guys trying to get down to the bottom of trying to get a greater understanding of all of this i feel like it happens when there's like you out you guys are out socially with your friends okay when i say you meaning every aries that this applies to okay um there's a lot of trying to get understanding even if some friends could be trying to like help you get over your hump of like i don't see um in the very moment of it but i definitely see like some of you guys it's almost as if okay at first it's like okay you know i thought everything was going fine between us you know and then all of a sudden bam it was like I, she broke up with me or he broke up with me and I'm kind of devastated over the situation because I don't, even though in front of people, you guys are doing your best. I feel like there's like this philosophical, the way that you guys are communicating to people. Um, again, trying to find a meaning to all of this stuff. Either you're trying to educate people, like don't do what I did, or you're trying to question people to try to find out, you know, what is this all about type of thing. Okay. Um, and perhaps for some of you through a conversion of exchange with others friends family dot 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 okay there's going to be some type of eureka moment okay or if you're by yourself there will be some type of eureka moment okay um that you'll have that you'll say wait a minute okay for some of you this person is going to come back all right like out of the blue you're sitting here you're depressed you're disappointed you're going through the steps of like woulda coulda shoulda and then bam this person calls you they want to see you they want to see you okay and of course you're happy about that very happy right very happy okay um some of you may not um okay so here's the thing this is how it's gonna go it's gonna go two ways some of you when this call comes in okay the person is gonna want to see you at the time when the call comes in my aries are gonna be feeling really down and out okay very regretful about the situation um or you some of you that are very regretful about the situation know that you you had a hand in this threesome situation so when the person calls or, or when you try to call the person you might get through to them and be very happy at the fact that they actually answered your call or, or you know you're saying hey i would like to see you you know they may say okay we can do that and you're very happy now others of you who were getting cheated on okay and who ended it you're regretful at the fact that you wasted your time you spent as much time as you did on this situation okay and it's like this person could try to reach out to you or they could be trying to reach out to you but either you're out with your girlfriends you're out with your guy friends 
and you know how like you're out someplace and it's loud and everything and your phone is ringing but you don't hear it so for some of you it's like listen I didn't even get the phone call okay like when I actually I literally missed this person's call but when you finally do see the call you'll be happy ruminating like "Mm mm-hmm yeah I knew you would be back others of you will see the call not answer the call and like yeah and you're and you're getting satisfaction off of that like no I'm not answering any of it because now I'm enjoying my social life you know I have people that I really connect really well with there's one person and I'm really starting to feel like seriously but you know I'm not committing myself this time I'm just out there I'm just getting my feet wet but there is somebody that I'm kind of connecting with on an emotional level but I like the other people that I hang out with too so no I'm fine thank you but no thank you (laughs) now For those of you that are happy because you're able to kind of reconnect with this person again, okay, I feel like there's going to be some confusion, all right, with where you, where do you go next with this person, okay, Um, you know something has to change, it can't be, you're not going to be able to exist with this threesome situation, that is not going to be able to happen, okay, so for some of my Aries that's trying to go back to someone, all right, and feeling like yes i'm gonna get what i want okay if you come half ass all right and you're coming in a way that you're just making things more confusing because you're saying a whole lot of nothing all right you're gonna get told really quickly move it along please slide it across now just know if you have this mindset like yes okay let me go back to the person that then I broke up with that I really want it's time to make some decisions guys it's time to stop thinking that well I can continue to pull these abadabas no it's time for you to really make some grown decisions and stick to them the advice here is to stick with whatever you decide to um, commit yourself to because we're committing Mm -hmm. there's a commitment that's about to happen okay and you better stick with it because if you don't you're going to find yourself back to the playing these same games and going through these ups and downs plot problems left and right okay now it may cause for you to have to walk away from one person in order to really obtain um a relationship that you know you value and that has all the potential that you've ever wanted remember i said to you guys a couple of months ago come clean i've been telling you guys this so it's nice to see that it's now building up and i'm saying like wow it's happening okay But again, that's only if you guys, again, get serious, all right? I do see that there will be uh, you trying to kind of, like, again, if some of you, again, trying to get back with this person and you're trying to think that the same thing that you used to do is going to work, no, it's not. You're going to get your your feelings hurt, okay? And a person is going to move on to somebody else. For those of you that are saying, hey, okay, I'm going to make this work with this person. I'm leaving this other person and I'm moving forward. There is for a lot of my Aries, you're dumping somebody. Somebody's getting dumped. And I almost feel like for some of you, the person that you were left with is the person that you're not going to be with. And you're going to go to the back to the person that you've been with. That's some of you. I mean, that you were with before. (laughs) Um, That's some of you. Others of you are not going to entertain this person when they come back, okay? And you're you're already going to be having some type of connection with somebody else, somebody new that you just met. And it's like, you know what? I'm happy where I'm at. No, thank you. And you guys are literally going to take this thing slow, okay? Um, And then others of you, I feel, are going to, when this person comes back or either you go back to that person, There's going to be this um, realizing that, you know what, this isn't for me. I almost feel like for those of you that do that, that either will go back to that person that that you broke up with or or that broke up with you, um, you're still with the other person because there was three people, okay? So you're still with the other person. It could go the other way. They're still with the other person, but there's another person that's still in a relationship either with the person that Aries was with or with Aries, okay? And if not... For you, for those areas that's going back to that person, all right, you're gonna that you broke up with, okay, that, that there was that broke up breakup, 
you guys are going to probably try it or you'll try it with them. And then you're going to realize this is not, no, I can't. Or they're going to say, no, this is not going to happen. And then you're going to find yourself really being with that person that you were still with. Okay. That you've been with all this time. And you're going to really commit yourself to that person and say, okay, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to bring anybody else in our relationship. I'm just going to do it with you. And we're just going to make this thing work. Okay. Um, be careful about that for my Aries that's doing that because for you to run back to somebody and you're already with somebody just to say, well, no, this is not working. And then you're saying, okay, well, I'm just going to stay with you. Almost sounds like settling to me. It feels almost like settling. And you know, Aries, you guys are not going to be settling for, for long. So just be careful with that. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this is making sense because I always be feeling like I'm all over the place. Um, but a lot of you guys, you always can um, follow along. I know it's a long reading, but it's a full month. So uh, that's what I have for you guys for the month of September. If you would like... And this resonates with you. Comment below. Let me know how this resonates. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And subscribe as I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Aries.